You guys hear something? Alien confirmed. Hello, humans. Today's tea spill is brought to you from bed because your girl is sick. Maybe it's from the hundred alien fraps that I ate yesterday, but I just couldn't wait to spill all this tea for you, so bear with me, cause it might be a snooze fest. Now I'm sure you guys already know about tons of the adorable Christmas accessories that we had come out last year. And I actually already did a video doing some accessory hacks with Christmas accessories, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. But it is already the end of November, and we don't have any Christmas updates in Royal High yet, which is fine, we haven't hit the Thanksgiving, but we do have a little bit of news from Barbie about all of this Christmas business. Lately, every morning, morning I'm excited, excited to jump out of bed and head straight to the PC4 studio. studio. He is always he's helping me to leave Christmas this year. Say what? And you guys already know how obsessed I am with Beism's UGC creations. I'm wearing a lot of them right now, actually, including the tutu, the mask, and I always wear a beeism hair usually. I kind of go between the pink and blue and the black and white. But guys, definitely check out her stuff on UGC. But this is very exciting because she said we can expect egg hunt quality builds with movement, vibrancy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. I'm such a beeism stan. And apparently the timeline is five days and this went up three days ago, so only a couple of days left. Oh, but looking at the screenshots, I'm already getting so excited at what we can see here. So there have been a lot of updates while I've been out sick. Have you guys forgotten about me? Please tell me, please tell me you still love me. I'm still here, I'm just sick. <coughs> I'm sick. And sure enough, Beism updated later that day with a ton of progress. So here's one of the first progress pictures, and as with all of the Royal High builds, there is definitely a great ambiance, different levels, a ton of hills, peaks, different kinds of plants, just tons of textures in general. Ah, and once she posted this close-up screenshot. I just got so excited. There are so many little details that I'm already picking out. Everything from the hillside with the cute little cottages. We see some more Christmassy looking buildings and decor up front. I see string lights, snow, a Christmas tree in the middle of the town. And it looks like there is a character. What are you doing? Are you caroling? Some of these windows are open. I don't know if we're gonna get to go inside, but the fact that there is a character in that doorway is giving me this conspiracy that maybe we will have to go knock on some neighbors' doors. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down in the description of your predictions so far. Now the third and final screenshot shows a little bit more of the city build going down the street in the other direction, the other angle across the Christmas tree. And they're all so beautiful. I don't understand how Beism can build everything so quickly and so beautifully. What a true talent. Now remember guys, if you're interested in any of the stuff I'm showing you here, please check out Beism's actual links. I'm gonna leave them in the description below. But she shared some blueprints, and I'm gonna call them blueprints because she has blue ink here, of some plans for her future additions to this winter build. I see a winter wonderland. So it looks like there is some sort of a Ferris wheel or a carousel here. Maybe this is the carousel and that's the Ferris wheel. We can obviously see a train track going down across the bottom, and it looks like there's going to be a tunnel in the side of this mountain here. Also a big clock tower, and I don't know if that big blue circle means we can go inside or not, but I'm very excited, and we also get a full view of the town from this angle. <gasps> Leave a like if you're way too excited for the Christmas update. And you guys, believe it or not, we got even more update pictures. This is just from a day ago. And it looks like Beism has really been hard at work here. So there are a lot of winter characters that have been added. I don't know if we're gonna be able to converse with them or if they're just adorable decorations. This is absolutely adorable. We have garland here with different ornaments or lights inside of it. There is a fountain. Does that mean there is going to be a new winter or holiday halo? Let me know, leave your predictions down below. I'm gonna go ahead and just share what I would like to see for a holiday halo. I would love to see something with holly and some sort of a garland. And if not that, 
I want a Christmas cookie halo. That's right, a halo made of delicious Royal High Christmas cookies. I don't even know if you guys remember, but last year I actually recreated the Royal High Christmas cookies in real life that I made. And if you guys want to check that out, let me know. But we know that last year, Christmas cookies was how we got accessories. So now that we've seen Beism's Christmas Town build, what do you guys think this year's Christmas mini game or activity could be to get accessories? And also, what kind of accessories do you guys think are gonna come? I know I posted a tweet a while ago, and I am still planning on recording this video very soon, maybe even tonight. So if I haven't posted this by the time you see this tea spill, make sure you go to my Twitter and send me your ideas. Now it seems a lot of people in the royal community are getting in the Christmas spirit and trying to add to D-Dog's amazing Christmas album coming out. And it looks like Johnny Soleil posted some really good 12 Days of Royal High lyrics. So funny, you guys. Have any of you actually written some Christmas songs? I'm so curious now, because I see a lot of people posting things. This is hilarious. I know I'll be singing this. And it looks like Ice has made an official Christmas song. truly honored to be mentioned in the first official Royal High Christmas song made by Ice, one of the coders of the game. But I want to see more of you community members post some Christmas songs. I think it's so fun to kind of recreate the lyrics and make them silly. So definitely let me know if you guys post anything like that. Oh, hey Fountain Sisters. We're just taking a break in this tea to talk about the fountain. So as you can see here, I have a new autumn story. And of course, I'm always going to help out the turkey. Hashtag save the turkeys this Thanksgiving. Eat a tofurkey. We have some great news from Kate Ka about winter and holiday fountains. It looks like she is opening it up again this holiday season for people to write and submit their own fountain stories. So she posted a link for the actual form, which we're gonna take a look at here. Are you an aspiring writer who wants to be featured in one of the fountain stories? Submit your winter holiday story idea, but make sure to read the instructions and disclaimers first. So this actually does give us some tea about the new fountain stories because it tells us how many are gonna be added, so five to 12 new stories. And you guys only have a couple of days left to do this. It looks like this form will open up tomorrow. So get your stories ready today if you wanna submit them tomorrow. So this just lets you guys know what is gonna to happen to your stories that you submit. And it tells you the rules about what format your stories must follow. They all will be winter, Christmas, or holiday themed. So that's very exciting. We know that this update is right around the corner. And it also gives you guys some advice and some tips on how to format your stories if you're going to be writing them. I definitely would love to hear some of you guys' community stories. So if you do end up sharing them publicly, I would love to see them. Make sure to tag me on Twitter and maybe we'll go through some of your story submissions for a video. Ooh, I don't know about you guys, but I could sleep for a thousand years and send cough drops and prayers because your girl is real sick. Maybe the Christmas spirit will heal my soul. Thanks again for watching. If you need me, I'm just gonna be here on my deathbed, but I missed you guys so much and and hopefully I'm better soon, but definitely keep tweeting me. I'm gonna be more active. But I wanted to say thank you guys. I saw so many messages of support and I really appreciate that you guys understand when I take a break, it's just cause I have real life stuff to handle and you guys were so supportive, so thank you. And I can't wait to come back to the community full time. I really missed you guys. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you here for another tea spill. Before you go, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Click that bell.
can't get no hotter. Fish taco, shrimp tacos, or carne asada. When I see a taco truck, you know I gotta follow. Hey, give me all of that. Tacos, where you at? I love tacos, it's a fact. Got it tatted on my back. <laughs> you know it's my favorite. It tastes so